All right, guys, we're back with Poppy Pager intro, and I have done a little bit of queso before. I've done nothing with bear. Um, but it is important to understand that where you're making it happen is at the outer edge of the envelope. It's at the outer edge of the envelope, as big as is practically possible. Obviously, if you live in the farmland of Ohio, you might want to make your circle a little bit bigger than if you live in downtown New York City. And I actually do have... Hi, Christina! Christina, don't worry. I've ordered this battery. I'm going to have... Honestly, if this thing is just going to keep going out, it's so annoying. All right, but what I'm looking at, and when I think what you need for this, is you do need a driver. I do not like the way these dogs are together. I don't normally put them together, but you need something to drive the dog out ahead of you. Right, and this is going to be a good way to get that black one, because he's just driving that one into the ground. So I'm going to use that pager to get him away. Oh, it's perfect. You said, what did I do? Obviously, I called the dog, but I was far away. It's very hard to shoot this. Okay, right now I'm about to separate this garbage right here. I'm going to tell you why this is good for that particular dog, because it is a soft temperament dog. So I'm adding the pager to that dynamic. Oh, he's giving it the shake off. And Queso's going under there to try to get away from him. Queso likes to go under things. All right, this is perfect. This is perfect. Watch him, watch him. Jesus, I didn't even have it on the gate. I hope you could see that. They're going to go again because they're going for the water. I might have one more shot. Shoe Bottom's going to drive them over to that gate. But I spun him with the pager. He's fixing to go again. He's now he's back under his thing there. He likes to go under things. But you do, you've got to have something that will drive the dog ahead of the handle or you're not going to be able to do it. You're just wasting your time. So if you said, well, I don't have anything, you've got to come up with something. You know, I don't want people that come to my house to do work say, well, your pipes aren't the kind that can be fixed. What? All right, now your pipes are in a class action lawsuit. What? Don't worry, I only had this house built 10 years ago. They better put plastic pipes in there. All right, so I can get them, drive them out ahead of the handler. Let me make sure we're on the gate because they're going to run for that gate. Let's get you guys a little bit closer. But, you know, I've got dogs that'll drive them out. And anybody that's a dog trainer, you're going to be hard-pressed to tell me you don't have a personal dog. And I don't want to hear your personal dog has all these issues. Yeah, I, I'm familiar with that concept. I call it shoe bottom. Look at her. She's over there getting... She's over there getting lizards now. That's what she's biding her time until we go down to the pond. All right, so... All right, there he goes. Casey! Anyway, I'm sure you got a good shot of that, but I'm, several things are happening at once. The pager is happening. The handler is clearly moving away. There's verbiage that's only augmenting the fact the handler's moving away. The handler's not where they left. You know, there is a lot of things going on. 
All right, so let's go down to the water now, and I'll shoot this the best I can. Yes. Oh, but I got this thing. It's called the lazy person phone thing or something. All right, I'm going to work on this black one a minute now. I know I can spin that, but he's, he's the one beating up on queso. Queso's not doing it himself. Okay. And I can't be the source of correction for the dogger. I'll tell you, they don't like you anymore. They, you're, you can't correct them. Maybe this is what we need to think of. The correction's in the inner concentric circle. Yay! Queso does everything fast as the wind. All right, so I know they're going to go for the water, so just let them go. The water's driving. I think you have to say to yourself, and this is good. This is good. I just thought of this. Uh, you know, we have to say to ourselves, what is it that's driving the dog ahead of us? You know, if it's a shoe bottom driving it ahead of us, that's one thing. If it's a cat out there driving it ahead of us, that's another thing. But we're still always training it. Part of our training has to be that the dog is being driven ahead of us by something, not just, it never goes ahead. So I think you have to test that by, oh, look what I got, look what I got. Queso! Yay! 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 If you said you didn't spin him, I spun him. And I'm using a very heightened reality command. You guys need to do that. I didn't go, queso, come, and then rub the thing's head. You guys are like, got it, lady. <laughs> but, you know, what? if you have to say, if what I'm doing is inhibiting movement, you, I think, honestly, I think your job is to disinhibit the dog, to allow these opportunities to come, you know, if it never goes ahead of us, that's what we have to understand. That's subclinical in the dog. It never went ahead until that day it saw a cat. All right, watch that black one. Bear! Yay! 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 And I need to be faster, but if you said what happened, my finger slipped off the button because it was greasy. But you know what I'm saying to myself, if I, I've got shoe bottom driving them ahead of me. And you know, a lot of times what's just going to be driving the dog ahead? Oh, it's the unknown. Or they're driven ahead by an impulse. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Let's just say if a rabbit was to suddenly appear on the trail. Shoe Bottom, who had no idea of chasing a rabbit right before that, suddenly has that idea. Right, stay on that black one. Bear! Yay! 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 So I'm rewarding both of them, and I'm not saying sit, rub, 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 rub head. Um, the treat denotes the end of the exercise. I understand that now. I think you can add the word yay, but you need to understand in the beginning their level of consciousness is not focused on that. Their eye is on the prize. Their eye is on the prize. Oh, she bottom ran off again. Uh, and I can use that to drive them forward ahead of me. Oh, there she goes. I want she sees it. Look at her. She she was looking for me, but then she just pretended to be looking over there. And now she's going to go back this way because she doesn't want to be caught having made. Bear! Yay! I held it down there a second. And if you said, that, why? I had the luxury of being able to hold it down when he was fighting with the other puppy. I had the luxury of being able to hold it down. Uh, and if you said, what? Because I'm interjecting it into the dynamic. And I, how you initially get the pager in the dynamic is where people are going wrong. And if you said, what? what's their method? Their methodology failure is what's happening. Okay, so. Oh, he's chugging. Oh, he's chugging. He's chugging. He's chugging. You're just creating a behavior. That's real behavior modification. Now that I think about it, when people say we do behavior modification, we try to take away behaviors. I've learned you better just stack something else there. Oh, look. He's no jumper. You know, that would be an easy way to teach them to jump, though, if I just put a little natural jump across the, you know, just an organic jump. 
Oh, look, he's heading into the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now they're driving each other back there. Oh, the shoe bottom will go right along. They won't need me if she goes. Oh, look, here the cat dragged in. Oh, now they'll all go. take off on shoe bottom. That's what I like to do. If you think I go back there diving through the bushes. All right, so now I got dogs being driven ahead. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I can only do one at a time though and hold the phone until I get my new queso. Yay. Yay. Oh, it is. Yay. That was That was only about three clicks out. I'm saying to myself, let him get to the edge of the envelope. The envelope as a puppy is obviously going to be smaller. And if you said, well, what would you gauge it on? How much ground the, co the dog could cover in six seconds, maybe? That one dog, Max, that ran off that time, I mean, it, it was literally as though you turned around and it was gone. Oh, he was awful. He, he did turn out. But that's, yeah, he's real aggressive. He would hump on all the other I don't let that monster get behind me <laughs> all right look look oh, they're like we don't know about that oh they're gone now they're gone all right watch 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 they're gonna go she's absolutely awful He's curious what's going on. They're curious what's going on. Okay. I want him to be able to carry away from the handler, though. Oh, shoot. Look, they're all the way over there now. There he goes. There he goes. Queso! Yay. Yay. Look, they got that far away that quick. Yay. Oh, just Molly. There she bought him. All right, that, and I'm saying to myself, that may drive them ahead right there. So I'm get that black one. People say they play rough. You don't want that. You don't want that. Bear! Bear! <laughs> I kept holding it down, but I'll tell you what happened. Yeah, the other one brought him. Okay, so Rex is my training assistant. Not much. Queso! Oh, he's something else. He is something else. You can see him turning very surgically. Yay! Yay! Yeah, it doesn't inhibit their behavior. It. If you said go on the record saying it disinhibits their behavior, no problem. No problem, and I'll make 400 other videos by Tuesday to show that that's the case. And it has been my experience. Dogs that are inhibited don't go in the water. And people say, oh, it won't swim and all these things. You have to say to yourself, there's a level of inhibition because... Even Molly swims. How cute. So I think, I mean, you know, if, you're, if I'm getting out here with just this black puppy trying to intro the collar and there's nothing else going on, I can tell you it's not gonna, probably not going to work. And if you said, well, it's level of consciousness, it's not completely aware of what's going on. Yeah, that's how it is in the beginning, you know. That's how it is. Look at him swim. He's unbelievable. The bond is so much deeper when, than when they were little. Because when they were little, they could go way out there and they'd still be walking. But now they, don't, they can only go not very far. All right, so I know that my page is compromised in the water.
I'm saying to myself, this puppy isn't that sensitive. I'm saying to myself, let me make sure my collar's on. And let me show you guys what I got here. Yeah. And it is the weaker page of... I don't know if you can see it. Okay. But what I've done is remove the contact points. So this is what you can do if you want a no juice collar. You know, that should be. I, I know that those don't match. All right, here you guys hang on. Um, but that's, I just removed the contact points and put round acorn nuts. So it's maybe a little bit flatter on the neck. your baloney your baloney okay sorry yeah. anyway this thing that I got it kind of goes around your neck and then it holds the phone out like that for these people that are actually there's people worse than me that's the only saving grace uh, at least I use my social media addiction for good uh, I try to help people with dogs but uh, you just put it around your neck and then apparently you just walk around on Facebook all day long you can your hands are free you can do everything else, but the phone is kind of sitting like that around your neck. <laughs> All right, so I'm saying I'd like to do a little bit more with this black one is what I'm saying. Queso's looking great. I haven't worked queso, but when I did work him, that's what I had was that little spin. So I augmented that. I'm going to work on this black one because I'm saying, okay, it's not that sensitive. But you have to say to yourself, these dogs are not, you know, if you're studying it from the behaviorist viewpoint, you cannot conclude that the dogs are beginning to show a level of inhibition base versus when the handler came into the picture. You know, and that's how we have to start talking. And this is how the IACP needs to start talking. What is the handler doing? Not I give it love, or I bonk it. All right, I got my eye on that black one. Problem is, Queso, Queso's driving in my direction, which helps. If I can get him going the other way. Molly, she's, she's lurked out there for now. So I'm saying, they might drive along here. If they go that way, I'm gonna go that way. Or if he does that, everything we're doing is saying move in my direction. And he's off to his bed and absolutely off us. There's my pager. Holding it down. Yay! Yay! I let it out. If he said when did you let it out? Right when I said it. And he was looking around. Oh! I'm making a mental note to myself that this dog may not be that sensitive. If you said is that good? No, not really. <laughs> But that's, if you said, what, what is the strength of this pager compared to the 280? I think you realistically would have to say it's about a quarter of the strength. So what my strategy from here, I'm going to try to charge up that collar of Greg's. Because those things will intermittently charge to break down and buy one. I'll get it through Amazon, though, so he won't know. He's the cause of all this bad training. He's not the causation of it, but he's certainly a, a, a well-known supporter and a promoter of it. Well-known. All right, so I'm going to start with my... Oh, I'm going to get a chance. Yay. All right. Let's go back out here. Let me see if I can get my camera stationary. All right, so I know they're going to go for that gate. I know they're going to go out the gate. Look at him, look at him. Queso! Oh, it stopped him. It stopped him. Yay! 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 And so there was a slight pause. And if you said, what do I do if there's a slight pause? Run! Run! 
I don't see these handlers doing any work. It's, it is a lot of work to train dogs. You're not going to just stand there and say words and they're going to do it. And you're going to pat them on the head and then you're going to tell the people they're trained. <laughs> or correct them for doing some normal behavior. You know, if you were a person that wanted to figure out how to control aggressive dogs and you didn't do any of your studying, didn't involve, all right, look what I've got, dogs far, far away didn't wasn't studying shirts and dogs you're an idiot all right look i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do queso because he's gonna bring the other one all right watch queso queso yay yay if you said what happened he's he started looking at those stickers on his side. All right, hang on, let me make this phone station up. You know, if you didn't, if you were trying to figure out how to control dogs that were aggressive, and you didn't know anything about Schutz and dogs, you're an idiot. And if you said, well, what are you basing that on? The, 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 well, these people's work. That's what I'm basing it on. All right, they may run back this way. They may be more prone to run back this way. And they are. Dogs are going to run for gates. Am I wrong, Christina? I mean, okay, so the way you control the aggression is not sit there and hit the dog. They already do that in Schutzen. That just makes the dog matter. <laughs> so that's not going to work. If Gary Wilkes knew anything about Schutzen, I'll look at him, look at him. I got a puppy cat way over there. God, Molly ran away. But you know, what, what I think you have to say to yourself is part of the reason these dogs of mine, all right, here comes my chance, have that animation. You're only going to be able to see the, if he gets back under there. I need a 360 camera for this. It's kind of the same thing as what's just going on with the boxers, though. And this is when you want to add your pager. All right, so what's probably going to happen is Queso's going to get under that thing, and then that one's going to start harassing him. He's trying to get the stickers. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Queso's got a really good default. I'm not bringing these two out together, though, because Queso doesn't deserve... Queso doesn't deserve all that. He's not like that. That's... And when people say... Okay, so he's going to go under there, probably, and this one's going to start harassing That one's a lot bigger than him, too. Yeah, oh, shoe bottom's beating him up. Probably bring it to me. Yay! Oh, you got the remote instead. Yay. All right, so what I'm looking for, okay, so now shoe bottom's in the perfect place. Now I'm just looking for puppies that are going away. And ideally, I've got a wide open. And if you said, well, what, what are you trying to say? Courtesy call, treats are being served. Who doesn't respond well to that? You know what I mean? Oh, the appetizers. I'll tell you, if I go to anyone's house, Angie Marie will tell you. Where's the cheese platter? Anything. I know dinner isn't for an hour. I've got to have snacks. All right, look, here we go. Here's my little setup. Here's my setup. Anyway, I hope you could see that, and 
If you said, what did you do different? I started the pager more than slightly before. I started the pager, then I said bear. And you saw that what, what that gave me. He looked when I said it. I threw in the movement and he was gone. Okay, I'm probably gonna get my same set up again. So that's what I did different. I started my pager before. Anyway, so you saw what that got me, and I started it maybe, I'm not a good, and they both gave it the shake off. I started it maybe a couple seconds before. It really is hard to gauge for me time. I don't even know what year it is. How can I expect it to? Well, maybe that's what you have to think of dog training, too. You've got time in general broken down into a lot of fragments. Anyway, I'm going to do my concentric circles thing. I just, I think it's a good way to understand, and that is how I train them. That is how I train them. You're initially setting up an outer edge of an envelope that's bringing the dog back towards that inner circle where you can actually teach the dog something. Because if they're not willing to hang around, I mean, there's this, Christina, I'm sure you've seen it. Oh, this guy was reformed in aggressive pit bull in 25 minutes with a muzzle and a prong collar. Now look at it. It's not doing anything. 25 minutes ago, it was trying to kill me. Okay, it's figured out it's got a muzzle on. It's completely shut down. I said the dog never one time looked at the handler, the handler being him. But, I mean, that does depersonalize it for people, you know. I'm not saying, oh, you're a crappy trainer. The dog never looked at the handler. You've got to make that observation. All right, so what I've got, I'm going to do the same thing again. If I'm lucky, Casey will back his ass up under there. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. So... I think you could see that. Anyway, he's gonna happen again, <laughs> wait and see. So what I'm doing is my one, two, three thing. I'm waiting until the dog isn't looking. It's, it's gonna repeat the, the same behavior. He's probably gonna get back under there. I'm taking three giant steps, hitting the pager the whole way, then calling the dog and continuing to hold the pager down and covering as much ground as possible. Get ready, I'm gonna do it going this way. Yeah, yeah he's gonna head butt right back under there though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hang on. I know this thing. I'm gonna get a different stand for this. Okay, there we go. Opportunities. And if it, you want to call the one that's pinning the one, not the other one. I'm, I'm great big gone by the time I'm... That one I am actually doing concurrent. I'm taking three big steps away and then starting the pager and then calling the dog. But I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. He's thinking of going back to the pond. You know, but if, if, if what my plan was to get that dog and call it to a stationary handler and start grabbing at its ears thumping on its sides and doing all these things. Oh my God, I got shoe bottom taking him. He's trying to get that pen off the table. Oh, he just knocked it down. He's gonna bring it to me, watch. It's on the ground, he doesn't realize it yet. 
Okay. All right, he's gonna go under there. Stay on that black one. So that was three big steps doing the pager the whole way and not looking back and not and doing the treat on the fly. They just keep repeating the same thing. That's so you can pretty much if you can keep making the same thing happen over and over again, that's just becoming part of the cycle. But you know, just the difference between these two. Right, Queso's probably going to get back under there again. He realized he's outweighed by this one. So he has to have that strategy of getting under there. Oh, he's got him on the run now, though. You said, you know, how would reviewing this footage help you? Oh, please! I won't have time to review it, but if I did, I would. <laughs> I would review it because my strategy for the for these two dogs is very different. Uh, but this black one is the first time it's had the collar on. Queso has had it on before. Anyway, you see where I'm at, but I'm great big gone. I'm making the edge of the envelope from where they are. I'm way over there, headed very, very deliberately for the gate. Not turning around, clapping my hands, saying, come on, come this way. I'm gone, girl. And it is easier with puppies for them to get distracted and not notice that you got far away. Thus giving them the belief that you're faster than you are. All right, in case I go back under his thing there. Okay, here we go. All right, so... Nothing there. Oh, if you said, what is it? If you said, what is it? If I had to guess, she may have been able to feel the vibrations from that big truck that just went by. And if you said, why would she get that idea? Oh, the UPS man. You know, they, the big truck and stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys can see how that's working. But if you said, how far away am I getting? As far as I can. And I want you guys to understand the, the key part of this is right now and i'm not running i don't want to run because i don't want to expend that kind of energy <laughs> it's too hot out but there are times that you oh he got the pen Yay. Yay. you little angel oh mama's angel um when i say you're training and the other day, the video or the title accidentally got switched from hand to toe, but it was head to toe, just like America's Next Top Model. But at that point, I'm only moving with my lower body um, because I'm being stealth sneaking away. And so I'm the handler that just, uh, I'm the handler that's now at a distance. So I'm not really, at that point, I'm moving more. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but this, this is what I'm doing. I'm not moving my upper body at all, but I'm getting away quick by going like that because I don't want to attract them with too much arm movement or anything. I want to be able to get farther away. If I can't get farther away, then I'm not defined. I'm making the envelope too small. So uh, they're, if they're there and I'm about five feet from the gate over there, then that's kind of, then, you know, they are understanding there is an edge, edge of the envelope and the concentric circles are revolving around the handler and they're now moving in that direction. Oh, he's looking for the pen again. So helpful. All right, let me see if I can do it one more time. But while I'm still following that rule, 
I'm holding the pager down while I'm and it might be different for a different dog, but while I'm moving away without any obvious movement that I, I don't want the dog to be attracted to. And there's my default. So, you know, and if you said, well, what, what, what are you looking for? Honestly, you're looking for a default behavior. The dog sees you leaving, it follows you. Not, oh my God, where's that dog? Then you're not living your life of, oh, my shoe bottom. Oh, am shoe bottom. Look at her. She'll wander off. They'll go after her. Watch. Queso! Oh, my little chuggy muggy. So that's the rule you're following. The both both parties have their back turned maybe we need to write that down like the dog has its back turned to you you then model that by turning your back to them now shoe bottom's waiting she knows she knows we get deliveries almost every single day around this time okay here we go here we go again my job is not to make a bunch of scuffy noises my job is to create a big envelope in the beginning if you only create a microcosm I acted more, I don't know if you could see it, I acted more quickly that time. And if you said why, I didn't have enough, as much time to get away. So I did it concurrent. I did the pager concurrent that time. And that's where you're kind of moving to. You're moving to where you're doing it concurrent. But again, if you said what would the analogy be of starting the pager so far ahead? Call me, but just keep letting it ring. I will answer. Just keep letting it ring. Okay, stay on them. I can do them concurrent too. I honestly think I don't miss having a two dog dog tra, and I don't think I'll ever get another one. All right, look, I got both of them going. So I did them concurrent that time. I can, if my hands are free, I can push both buttons. All right, so they're they're far enough away from me. I can make my envelope bigger. I'll go like I'm walking towards the pond one time and then I'll get a little, you know, you want speed. If you got no speed, you got no, that's why these dogs all have so much animation. I don't completely understand it myself, but I can look at how they were a year ago and say, oh, they're definitely more bouncy than they were. You know, I didn't get that much better. You know, there's, there's, you know, something that's amplifying it. It's amplifying whatever I'm doing. I'm able to get animation, but somehow it's amplifying it. And if you said it's amplifying it right out of your control, lady. I know, I've seen that. I'm noticing that. All right, so we're headed towards the pond. So I did two things. I let them go all the way to the water. And that's what I say you have to train with your ears. I could hear them in the water. I heard them splash in the water. The upside of that is you can, all right, look, I got that little dog way over there. He's on the edge 
look at my envelope. So, you know, I think I am saying to myself, I think what I'm saying to myself is I need to make my envelope somewhat commensurate with my distraction factor. <laughs> you know, that if I got distracted for a couple minutes looking at something on Facebook and I look up, how far away did the dog get? You know, so if, if, I've made my envelope pretty big and I got a couple big factors in in the beginning, which is a handler that's out of sight and far away, so you've got to factor that in. I luckily did factor it in real fast. All right, guys, I'm gonna go put these two up, but that was, you know, probably longer. The reason I could keep doing it really was because they're generating so much energy themselves, and I think that's what people need to think of. It is like solar. We're just tapping it into the energy they're already generating. Anybody that's trained dogs knows trying to generate energy if I had to put on some flashy demo of shoe bottom right now, if that was the only thing I had to demonstrate my training ability, I'd be in trouble. They'd say she's awful. <laughs> it, because it's very hard to generate energy. The only way to generate energy in a dog, I think anybody that trains dogs will agree with me, is psychologically. You know, you can't force them to run faster. You can't force them. I can't force that Doberman to jump up in the air. I can't force those labs to go four off the floor. You know, psychologically, it's all happening somehow. I don't know. But it's got to be deeper than that because it's happening physiologically too. Somehow you're chemically tapping into something, and then whether that's getting better. I know it sounds insane. I know. You're like, she's been out in the sun too long. All right, guys, I'm really going to be back with a couple more episodes, but I hope you guys like that. And it, it is a lot of work, you know, and I'm, as the handler, I'm doing a lot of moving around. I'm not standing there. I'm strategizing. I'm moving around. I'm acting on intuition. You know, you're doing all, it's, that's why it's not easy to be a serious pro trainer, that all these people just think, you know, and that's why I got so mad at that Justin, you know, that he thinks he just watches a video of a trained retrieve and then just duplicates it and then says, there you go, lady. It wasn't even close, Christina, if you would have seen it. I you probably did. It was on my page. Anyway, I will, uh, I'll be right back.